5.16 is on aquaculture or the commercial fishing or farming of fish. It might be either cages that are out offshore or tanks that are inland, but it produces a lot of fish um, in a short amount of time, specifically for the for human consumption. We've seen a drastic increase of aquaculture as wild capture is kind of leveled off, and that's because aquaculture is highly efficient. It reduces the chances of overfishing. It requires only small areas of water and also requires little fuel. There are issues, of course, that come along with it because there are issues with everything. <laughs> uh, one of the bigger ones is the contamination of water around it. So because it's a small area and a lot of fish, we have to um, put antibiotics into that water. But again, it's water, so it doesn't stay in that area. It's, you know, essentially a net, so things can flow through it. And so that means antibiotics get out into the water. Um, any parasites and waste, the, the sewage that it produces, um, all that flows out into the water, and that's, um, that's not good for the local population. Uh, if you have fish that get out into the wild, that they can compete with the native species. Um, oh, another thing is that uh, what they feed them is fish meal. And so that can still lead to overfishing because the fishing that's done is then used to grow fish. It's, it's weird. But, yeah, yeah. Like I said, issues with everything. Uh, diseases, all, all sorts of things. Um, but again, this can be mitigated by tanks that are inland. I've seen tanks that can like recycle the wastewater and then use that as like to grow uh, plants as well. So by no means is this is this a bad thing. But there's just issues that they have to kind of work out before it's um, before it's perfect. And summary, describe the benefits and drawbacks of aquaculture.